Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Duck 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 here, and today I'm just going to kind of vibe and play Blitz and just talk about a, an array of topics for you guys today. So I'm going to go random because I always kind of do this in these kinds of videos, but um, the first thing that I wanted to cover is Minecraft usernames. So recently I've been getting into the Minecraft username community, and when I mean username community, I don't really mean like the OGN community necessarily, I just mean like the username community in general, so like the name MC community, right? Now... I've been looking on NameMC for quite some time, and I've been trying to hunt down as many people as possible with a lot of name changes. Like, more name changes than me, even, right? My FPS just went to ass, but that's fine. I lag a lot on v one I hope you guys can handle that little lag spike there. I'm sure you can. But, basically, if you guys know me, you know that I changed my username on Minecraft a lot. I have 54 total name changes on Minecraft... And normally I'll change my username to something sentimental, an inside joke, or like a reference to a hobby or a franchise that I'm into. For example, DCJG is my initials and it was a past username of mine. Jace Windu is a play on my middle name and Mace Windu. And an inside joke, uh, Gnome Monica Bench was an inside joke with me and my friends. So, I've been looking for people on Minecraft that have the same if not more username changes than me and i found only two so far and they are the guys with the most name changes in minecraft ever their usernames are wwd mira or that's one of their usernames and the other is n underscore i underscore c underscore e underscore actually well there's also a guy named 69th username change which by the way is the max amount of name changes you can have on minecraft and i'm kind of wondering how many name changes do you guys have because i kind of want to narrow it down and see like just how rare my name change count really is because i figure it's pretty rare i figure only 100 people have changed their name over 50 times on minecraft because when you really think about it if the max amount of times you can change your name since february 4th 2015 is 69 times then uh, and i've changed my name 54 times that means i've only missed 15 months or a year and three months worth of name changes versus certain other people so i've been looking far and wide and i've only found two people with 50 plus name changes in the hypixel community that i can like that i can talk to right now so, Sweatily Clicking is one of them. He's a Blitz player with about, I think, 45k kills or like 50k kills. And another one is Zenshi, who is a Mega Walls main. I was told of a UHC main, or I was like made aware of a UHC main that had 60 name changes, but I haven't give, been given like, you know, confirmation of that yet. I don't know, I'm just really curious how many people have over 50 username changes because it's really interesting, right? Uh, one thing I noticed about um the name change thing is like there are two kinds of like most name changes you can have name changes in general and unique usernames so unique unique usernames means you aren't repeating like the same thing so like duck duck dog i've repeated that several times over the years so that takes away from my unique username count so i've changed my name 54 times but i have 47 unique usernames i don't know i'm just like really into it recently and it's really really fun to just like go on name mc and look for like certain usernames like did you guys know that there's an account named G, and he changed his name twice, so his name is literally GG. I'm really not even trying in this game, but is this guy like... Wait, hang on a second. Did he get the Blitz Star, or did he not get the Blitz Star? I hit him a bunch of times. Dude, those armored zombies kind of fucked over that entire thing, because I, I could have actually, like, crit him out a lot more and killed him. But no, I'm kind of just, like, really into the name MC thing now, and I'm just, um... I've been camping that website a lot. There's a username that's coming up that I actually want to get but i don't have an alt account with a name change available so that really sucks it has like 50 searches it's relating to ninjago some of you may know what i'm talking about but it has a lot of searches and there's four days left and i kind of want to like participate in it and like try and snipe the username i don't know it's really fun the whole thing i kind of want to get like a three letter username for the future because why not but anyway um I'm going to stop talking about usernames because it's probably seen as really dorky or weird by people. I don't know. It's really interesting. Like, did you know the most valuable Minecraft account isn't actually a one-letter account? It's an account named Fox because Fox has every single Minecon cape and the Cobalt cape, which is only worn by, like, 21 different profiles. Right. Right. You know? You'd figure the most valuable Minecraft account would be, like, one of those dupe accounts. Like, um, what are they called? Uh, those two, like, Yoshi skins that Dream showed on his channel. And then you figure, like, oh, I actually have an OGN, if you guys um, didn't know. I have an OGN named Superlatively, so, like, the username is like this. It's like that. Okay, of course you decide to turn around when I start typing. What do you have, a fucking third eye? Holy shit. Nah, but, um, I just, um, thought it was really interesting. Like, the whole username gig. That guy Vol Hunter, okay. 
But yeah, if you guys are also into the whole username community, make sure to hit me up in the comment section. Let me know how many name changes you guys have, because I'm really curious to see. Because normally, like, what will happen is, like, people don't change their usernames a lot because it's inconvenient. Because if you change your username, people won't really know who you are, unless you're in a really small community. So, like, normally, uh, people won't change their names as many times as I will, unless they're a really casual Minecraft player. Or unless they just don't really care about recognition. So... A lot of the time, people will keep their OGN because they grow attached to it or things like that. But since I've grown a brand of like Duck Duck Dog on my YouTube channel, I don't really feel a need to have that username in game. I mean, yes, I could like expand my channel if my username was Duck Duck Dog in game, but I don't really see a point in having it as that anymore. Plus, I normally like expressing my okay. Fuck off. He's like he's being wary of me, so that's good. He know he knows. He knows I could fuck him up at any second. Please. Yes! Okay, ah! I saw him hit, and I was like, why the fuck did you just catch fire? And then, boom. But, um, yeah, I love how I'm only talking about one thing in this video. I actually have a lot of good video ideas coming up. I've just been waking up so late every day, I can't really get the recordings. So, sorry about that, guys. Uh, oh, actually, I have another thing to talk about. I'm actually meeting my um, online girlfriend in seven days. And normally, I'm not too comfortable talking about this on the channel, because, I don't know, um... It's hard talking about this stuff on YouTube, like this kind of stuff, because people have always seen online dating as like cringe, sort of. But long story short, I met her on Skype a couple of years ago. It was this like blitz, like Skype, and I met her because this guy added her in, and we've been talking ever since. We've been really good friends, and a couple months ago, I was like, "Hey, do you want to like date me? Because like I really care about you and like you and stuff like that. All, all that good juicy stuff, you know, blah blah blah." Can you stop bo- Okay, ironically enough, you should probably maybe stop bowing me here. Oh my god, he just potted twice. I'm terrified. Please stop. Uh, stop! Holy shit! How am I gonna beat this? He's like hitting most of the shots. Oh my fucking god! Okay, I gotta kill at least. He gave me a kill because he has that retarded ass, like, um, ender dragon ride ability. Wow, that guy was playing so safe. He didn't even want to, like, melee me. Did he know I was Ranger 10 or something? Probably. Oh, he was Archer 10. Okay, never mind. I was about to say. It's like, why the fuck are you bowing me so much? And why the fuck was that bow doing so much damage? But anyway, um, yeah, so I met her four years ago. Uh, I think I met her, like, October 2016. So we've known each other for a long time, and uh, we've tried to plan meetups over the years. So, like, in 2017, we tried to plan a meetup. 2018, 2019, we tried to plan these meetups, and they failed every single time. And finally, on November 3rd, she is flying out to North Carolina and she's going to be staying here for a month and a half. I'm going to do some videos with her on the channel. So get ready for those, I guess. I might do like a cam video. Why not? But yeah, no, I'm really excited. I'm nervous though because I just hope that she's everything that I've uh, kind of dreamt of her to be. You know? It's always like weird meeting up with somebody on the internet. Um, even if they're a dude, you know? Even if you're the straightest like pole that there is uh sexually and you you meet up with somebody it's still nerve-wracking because you don't know if they're going to be the same way as they were on the internet maybe i'm just like socially anxious when it comes to that kind of stuff but oh there's a somebody like keep sprinting on my back thank you um that's really like attractive of you but yeah i don't know i just kind of wanted to throw that out there i'm probably going to do a story time with her like talking about how we met and all the stuff that's happened over the years all that stuff so get ready for that that's going to be fun I might play a couple games with her, stuff like that. Just make, like, a playlist, like, girlfriend-level shit or something. I don't know. I've been referencing her, like, here and there on the channel, but I've never, like, fully talked about her. So this is, like, the first time I'm fully, like, clarifying that she exists. Um, I have not been online, da online dating her for a long time. And, no, I did not meet her on Minecraft. It's kind of funny how people have this double standard with online dating. Like, I remember a group of people asked me if I met her on Minecraft or not. And they were being really aggro about it. Like, did you meet her on Minecraft? Did you meet her on Minecraft? I'm like, no, I met her in a Skype chat, actually. So, yeah, I, I would assume that's a normal place to meet somebody. Same with Minecraft. I mean, I'm like, I don't know. It's just the internet. And they backed off, like, instantly. They're like, oh, okay, I guess that's fine. Like, is there something wrong with meeting somebody on Minecraft that you come to care about? Or is that, like, cringe to teenagers? Or, like, immature people, I guess. But, um, yeah, this guy's astronaut, so I can do absolutely fucking nothing about this. Oh my god, imagine your utility being absolutely countered by another kit. Ah! Kidding, we're both A-tier kits. According to the Duck Duck Dog tier list, Necromancer is in fact better than Astronaut, so I should be able to beat this guy later in the game. 
Honestly, um, my tier list was not perfect, but it was close to being perfect, I feel. It was really, really good. A lot of people had some some judgments on the tier list. A lot of people had some criticisms, but I actually agree with those criticisms. Like, I think I placed Farmer a little bit too high, and I think I underrated Jockey just a tad. I don't think Jockey is an E-tier kit, honestly. It's like, it's just such an awkward kit. I kind of just need a place to put it. Um, I don't know if I can take this guy. I'm just going to fucking fight this guy. I don't know. I'm going to try and, like, do, pull a move on him. All right, we're going to... Actually, wait. We can spawn some skeletons here. Oh, I got a hit. Okay, I got a free hit there. That's good. No. Oh, my God. Astronaut is so tanky. Dude, that's the kit that I'm pressed to stack grinding next. I swear to fucking God. I am pressed to stack grinding Astronaut next. You heard it here first. Also, that's the second player we've died to with a level 10 and under 7,000 kills. I'm raising the bar. I was going to say under, like, 6,600 kills, but that feel a little bit too exact. I feel like I'd be nitpicking at that point, so you know I don't really want to be an asshole. So we're just gonna we're gonna calm down. Seven thousand kills, dude. I remember, dude. Like moving on from like the whole girlfriend topic and like the username topic, but I feel like, um, you know, I remember back in the day when you had to actually really, really like grind to get a kid. It's kind of crazy to think that now you can get a level ten within two thousand kills without boosters because back then you know over time people have like accommodated the game for newer players over and over to a point where the economy now is pretty much fucked uh and well actually well there can't be an economy if there are a limitless amount of coins but you know what i mean um why are you doing this you hit me like once and now you're fixated holy shit stop okay so I, um, kind of, it's disappointing, though, because, um, I'm more of a, I'm not a late bloomer when it comes to Blitz, but out of all the, like, old, old 2013 players, I got a level 10 pretty late, because I was a spender up until, like, 2015, I got, like, six level 7 kits, so, when I got a level 10, I got, I had 18,100 kills, which, even then, that was considered kind of low, oh, this is the guy that hacked in the tourney a lot and didn't get banned, his name is Yellow, why hello? Oh, wait, his name is Why Hello. Like, oh, it's a play on words. Oh, my God, my voice just went so raspy when I realized that. That was, like, a soul-crushing realization. Holy shit. His name is Why Hello. Like, like Why Hello. Like that. Like, it's a sentence, but it's a word. That's actually fucking cool. Okay, I take back everything I said. He's actually not hacking. Okay. He's legit, and he's awesome. Cool. Um, yeah, I like usernames like that. Just play on words. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. The whole username thing, uh, the whole topic, it's because, like, I don't know, changing my username has kind of become a fun game for me recently, and I have, like, a list of usernames that I'd like to take in the future somewhere. It's it's somewhere in long, long forgotten place that nobody can find. But anyway, um, it's kind of fun because my friends and, like, people in lobbies are like, Darian, how did you come up with this username? Darian, how did you think of this one? And I, it's really fun telling them the stories behind the usernames. It's cool that people care, you know? It's, like, really cool that people care. I've never had, like, a weeb-ass anime username. Well, I've had one, but it was, like, based on Yu-Gi-Oh!, so, like, I don't really, like, know. I should make a username tier list so that people, like, understand, like, how how many, how many usernames I have. Like, people need to truly understand. I can't even fight this guy because he's cheating and he's playing Meme Master, so I have to hit him, like, 15 times to kill him, so that really sucks. Um, this video is pretty much just running and dying to somebody with low kills. Like, look, look at this guy. He's just taking zero knockback. It's crazy. I might try to, like, clean him up here or do something something about it. Maybe. Mm, damn, I'm comboing a hacker. Look at that. But, um, anyway, so, yeah, it's kind of fucks. Uh, fuck, fucking, it fucks. It fucks, yeah. It fucks that the economy is, like, fucked over now. I'm just going to use the word economy so that you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, let's enchant my Tim. Oh, this upgrade was now useless. This upgrade was brought to you by Hypixel's uh, inability to balance a minigame. Because, you know, Tim 9 gets prot 2 iron leggings and Tim 10 gets proj prot. You know, awesome. Or you get proj prot. Oh, this guy's hacking too, I think. Oh my god, they're having a little hacker battle. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, just let me win the game. Can you... Oh my fucking god, you're such a retard, honestly. I'm gonna kill this guy with the bow. Yeah, I have to, because like, he's just not gonna stop rotting. Rotting is so lame. It's like, I hope you all know that rotting in Minecraft is a bug that they had to remove in, like, what was it, 1.15? It's crazy. You can literally just stall a player's movement infinitely. Like, if you have speed, like, 7 and you're against a rod and they hit you and you don't have anti-knockback or velocity on, that rod is going to make you go directly upward. It's going to full stop all of your movement and there's nothing you can do about it. It's so stupid. 
it's stupid that in this game we have like CC kits or like you know um, I guess kits that can control your movement like snowman farmer troll fisherman hype train um, creeper tamer archer ranger hunter rogue all of these fucking kits they get all these items that you know control a player's movement and rods can be found in chests it's so dumb it's so fucking stupid it makes me want to kill somebody honestly and not somebody i mean like somebody in the game obviously oh by the way i hit 240k kills uh like two days ago i haven't really been playing blitz as much recently but um you know i'm still i'm trying my best i'm trying my best to play how many solo wins do i have oh 480 okay 17,480 520 away from that sweet, sweet 18,000 solo wins milestone, even though that one doesn't really matter to me as much. I kind of just want to get my team wins up, not going to lie. Just that's really all I care about right now. <laughs> I'm uh, approaching 30,000 total wins, actually, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, um, it does suck that players can just like get a level 10 really fast now. Like I've seen people with level 10s with like 1,000 kills, and they claim to me they didn't even buy a booster. And honestly, I believe them, because playing on my alt account... I realized that getting a 10 is so easy because within 90 kills, I had the option of buying a level 9. Within 90, which means I wasn't even at 90. I just had in the range of 90, right? Like, I, I it's so stupid. It's so fucking dumb. It's ridiculous. What kit did I win with last game, Tim? Yeah, Tim. I haven't chosen my, like, next Prestige 2 grind, honestly. But I, um, I want it to be a tankier kit because Florist's armor was shit and I had to replace it a lot. Um, Hype Train's armor was shit. It was really lightweight. It only got iron boots with Pro 1. Those are like the only good piece that it got. And um, what kit am I grinding? Pigman's armor. It, like the only good piece is the helmet. Everything else fucking blows. I mean the boots sometimes are good. But everything else really is just shit. I always replace the chest plate and the leggings obviously. And I kind of just want to play a kit with reliable armor. That actually lasts through the entire game. So like actually literally astronaut. Because astronauts like chain helmet and iron boots like last you pretty much the entire game unless you find a better piece like diamond but even then like oh my god my voice <clears throat> i'm sorry my voice is so strained um i don't know this keeps happening i maybe i just need to like cough into the microphone or something give you guys um the rona <clears throat> oh, man that really sucks the whole like virus thing honestly i'm not going to talk about it in depth because um if you talk about you know covid in depth on your channel you have to like have this rating and shit and they go over your video it's like this whole review process um and i think they put like a donation box on your channel or something it's like a whole thing it, they make your video basically an advertisement and that's not what i'm trying to make this um lag um well i'm frame lagging but that's um that's commonplace on the duck duck dog channel yeah, Hearthstyle, save me, please. Oh, wait, no, you don't even know it's me. Fuck, hang on. Um, This is bad news bears because I am Ranger 10 again. Wait, what? Again? That's fucking lame. That's cringe. That's crumumge because now if he kills me, he's going to know it's me. And that's the point of a nick. You're not supposed to play Prestige. That's what I don't, dude. I don't understand that. People that go, <laughs> people that go fucking, um, like Prestige kits and they nick. Like, if you die one time, everybody's going to know it's you. I hope you realize that. Because uh, prestige items are nicked, so it tells you exactly who you are. Hang on, I'm going to show you what I mean in a second. Like, Okay, so you see this? Owner Duck Duck Spook. It shows exactly who you are on the items because it's a nickname on the item. I know it shouldn't be coded like that, but it is, so it's like unlucky. Okay, I hope this guy doesn't just decide to Reaper pop me in the face. Okay, never mind. Oh, fuck. Oh, that actually scared the shit out of me. Okay, whew, that scared me a little bit. That made me jump up just a little. Okay, he didn't use his Decay Pot, so that's good. This guy had an iron sword? No. Okay, I'm just going to keep using the iron axe. Okay, so... Uh, anywho, yeah. I keep coming back to this topic because I haven't even finished talking about it. But it does suck that players just, like, get level 10s or whatever. Like, it does blow. Because... What the fuck? Wait. Oh, there's a hole here. Yeah. I'm just going to jump in it. I don't even care. Hopefully, hard styles does not decide to, you know, randomly triangulate my position. And then, you know, come to me quite promptly, if you may. But, um... Yeah, I mean, I've heard of people getting level 10s at, like, 50k kills, but that's that's illegitimate, honestly. Like, I get that coins were hard to get back in the day, but it was never that bad. If you got a level 10 at 50k kills, like, if you got your first... Oh, my fucking god, he's coming. Oh, no. No! Oh, my fucking god! Please! Holy shit! Tom! Fuck! Fuck you, dude! 
You're cringe. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, he's gonna die for that. Thankfully, maybe. Maybe he's gonna die for now. He's way better than this other guy. Never mind. Okay. He he knows he knows exactly what he's doing. That guy has no idea what he's doing. It's no contest. Hard Styles wins that fight. Fuck. Like you created the blitz bot. Does that? But does that make you think you're special or something? I don't think he uh, picked up any of my items, so that's good. He doesn't act actually know who I am. I hate it when my cover's blown with Nick when I go like random and I get like a fucking prestige two and someone kills me and they're like, oh, it's Duck Duck Spook. But yeah, no, it really sucks that you can just get a level 10. Because, like, so my first level 10 I got, I had 18,100 kills. My second level 10, I had, like, 26,000 kills. My third level 10, I had, like, 36k. My fourth 10, I had, like, 45k or something like that. So on and so forth. And by the time I had 100,000 kills, I don't even think I had, like, 20 level 10s yet. Whereas, like, people like Nube or Sean Lowell are maxing the shop when they only have, like, you know, however many amount of kills. I maxed the shop. I got all 40 level 10s that you're aware of right now. I got 40 level 10s when I had 202,000 kills, I think. Yeah, I think that is when I did it. Uh, I barely grinded the last three, to be fair. Um, I had somebody buy me a booster so that I could buy all three at once. Because I wanted to beat Pigman X to doing it, so I had to like get a move on. Because he had like 48 or something, or he had like 38 kits. Dude, imagine Blitz had like... 50 fucking kids. I honestly, I said this about Overwatch, and I think it holds true for Blitz, um, or any game with kits or classes or characters that you can pick from. Um, if you know a game isn't balanced as it is currently, when you can't imagine that game with more characters or classes. So, like, you know the meta game is unbalanced and absolutely busted when you can't imagine more characters. So, for example, Overwatch, I believe, has 32 characters. I could not imagine that game with 40 characters. Or 35, even. Because the game is just so busted and broken and unbalanced and stupid that you can't imagine more kits or classes in the game, right? So the same holds true for Blitz. I could easily imagine Blitz having 40 kits, or 50 kits, I'm not going to lie. Even 45. I mean, honestly, having 45 kits in this game is not that hard, considering Milkman is already, like, one of the confirmed, confirmed kits. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, let me guess. You're hacking with a Nick on? Holy fuck. You're cringe. I can already tell. I don't even need to, like, fight that person in depth. I can just tell. You can just tell, you know? Like, you see a Nick, you just know they're cheating. Official skill. I want to kill them so bad and figure out who it is, but I highly doubt I'm going to get to get that chance because, you know, they're just going to hit a button, and guess what's going to happen? I'm going to fucking die. Okay, so Shadow Knight gets the feather falling on the helmet. That's a, That was always so odd to me. I remember when Shadow Knight came out, everybody was asking so many questions about it. They were like... Does the helmet actually work, or is the fall damage just a troll? Because, like, on Hunter's armor on the chainmail, you have Punch on it. And, oh, dude, there used to be a bug with Hunter where you got these leather boots with Power 4. And if you held the boots before you shot a bow, uh, it would, like, give the bow Power 4 or something. Like, it was fucking insane. It was crazy. Or, like, if you dropped the boots before you shot, or some shit like that. I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna... Unfortunately, this guy knows exactly what kit I am based on my uh, Shadow Knight skull that I have on right now. He's going to try and get a bow combo on me or something. Yeah, okay, I could just tell you're hacking. That's splendid, bro. Unless you're not, and I'm just a little crybaby. Ooh, you're dead. You're dead. You're going to die. You're dying. You're going to die, little monkey. Little ape. Ooh, yeah, I can take fall damage, and you can't. How does that feel? I'm not really talking that much. I'm focusing on this fight. I want to win. I want to end the video on a win, but all these people have full fucking iron. To be fair, I have equivalent to full iron because the diamond helmet on the Shadow Knight's goal. Okay, cool. He's going to get the star and then... Yep, that's uh, that's a kit. <laughs> that's a kit in the game. Donkey Tamer, everybody. Ladies and gents, Donkey Tamer for you. Fucking such a dumb kit. Um, no, but I could easily imagine, like, 50 kits in Blitz. Dude, I could imagine, like, 75 kits in Blitz. Blitz is not a hard game to balance, and there are so many concepts that have yet to be covered. Like, with... I mentioned this in my, my, my video where I was talking about, like, Blitz um, kits or, like, my kit ideas and, like, the Blitz update document that I went over. But there are so many ideas in Blitz that are not covered yet. And with the, um sort of recent addition of, like, you know, dual debuff kits to the game. So, like, Warlock, Reaper, or, like, dual positives. Like, so, Warrior and Baker. It opens such a broad horizon for more kits like that. There are so many potion combinations that work. Like, 
debuff buff kits, buff buff kits, or debuff debuff kits. Like, it works. A lot of it works. You'd be surprised. So, like, Warlock is a buff debuff kit. Baker is a buff buff kit. And so is Warrior. And Reaper is a, um... Oh, and Rogue is also a buff buff kit, kind of. Because Invisibility is sort of like... Eh. Invisibility is more of like a neutral buff. But, like, whatever. I'm just going to say an official skill hacks use on them. I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. I'm sorry, man. I, I know you guys don't like it when I hack you Zayden in videos, but whatever. This guy's name is Pogget. I appreciate that username. Official skill has not said anything in the chat yet, so I assume they're actually hacking. Wait, is that Tame? I feel like official skill's Tame, because I think Tame's muted, right? And I think he plays solo more than a Cruise Cheats. That's an awesome username, and I will be accepting you into my guild. That's splendid. I'm going to GDMO you, though, down to Bunny. Or no, 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 Sneeze poop. Wait, 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 wait. I, wanted, I want you to be on Bunny. Sneeze poop. He's trying to get me out of the game because I called him out for cheating. Oh, my God. He knows. <sighs> okay, regen pot. God. He's gonna get him. Yes, yes. Woo! Oh no, 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 no. Oh fuck, fuck. Okay, okay. We're gonna stay here. Okay, we're gonna stay here. Okay, wait, wait, wait. If he's blinded, he can't get me, right? That's right. We're good. We're good. Fuck. If he's blinded, he can't get me. If he's blinded, he can't get me. Fuck. Oh, I almost got away from that. Are you shitting me? That sucks. Anyway, um, that was actually smart. I blinded him while he was Nocturne. Talk about like a mind fuck. You blind someone who has blindness on you and you're both blinded just trying to find the other person. But um, anyway, that's kind of all I wanted to talk about in this video today. If you watch to the end, I truly appreciate it because these kinds of videos are just me kind of being myself, just talking about stuff that's on my mind. Because um, I didn't really, I had some video ideas, but they were like longer videos and I didn't want to like upload too late in the day. So I'm probably going to have this video out in like 30, 40 minutes or something like that. But anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I am going to be making some awesome content in the future. I just needed like a kind of um, like break a little bit, just like a like a one day -er, and then kind of like this upload is going to come later in the day. I promise you though, tomorrow the upload will be coming sooner. I just needed like I had this thing I wanted to show you guys, but the file wouldn't like transfer into my world saves and i like it w it wouldn't even download to begin with so you know whatever i guess but yeah sorry if the commentary was sloppy towards the end there i really wanted to like win that game but uh i guess i could not because uh whatever i guess uh nocturne is unlucky that guy uh i think that guy killed me twice right didn't he kill me twice I think he did. No, I don't. I don't know if he did. I think I'm being killed by a lot of people with under 10,000 kills today. All right, that's 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 enough. I'm not playing Blitz for the rest of the day. Anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, Duck Duck Dong signing out.